What is the spirit of the gospel of Jesus Christ? President George Albert Smith gives us the answer in his talk on October 4th, 1946. Today I am lifted up in my heart. I look into the faces of my brethren, some of them been in the missionary field for many, many years, remained away from home, reared their families there, and they're back to visit with us in conference, and ready to go again, if they may be needed. That's the spirit of the gospel of Jesus Christ. A man was released and came home not very long ago. I don't know whether he's in this audience today. You know who I'm talking about if he is, and some of the rest of you will know. He had been away from us about ten years with his wife, raised his children there, three of them, lived way down in the South Pacific among the descendants of Father Lehi. And when he came home, was glad to be here, of course, happy to come back to this marvelous country that we live in and associate with those who are his own family. And then, when the matter of going into the mission field was talked about briefly, he was ready to turn around and go right back. That's the spirit of the gospel of Jesus Christ. To labor without a salary, to labor without the comforts that we sometimes have at home, but to labor for the salvation of the human family, to bring our father's other children to a knowledge of all the truth that is possible for them to gain, and the only reward, I shouldn't say only reward, and the great reward that they expect as a result of these years of service in the missionary field is to have the companionship of these men and women that they have brought into the world, brought into the church in the world, the companionship of those that are their own families that they love right here upon this earth throughout the ages of eternity. That's the blessing.